Hello friends and welcome to another Java Swing video tutorial. In today's episode we're going to learn how to use the J text field component. I've created a new Java project in Eclipse and in that project I have a main frame class. The main frame class consists of a J frame and a J panel. I've created a J label and I've added that to the panel. And now we're going to create and configure a J text field. Now the J text field is a Java Swing component that allows you to edit a single line of text. So let's get right to the configuration. The configuration will all be done in a method called create J text field. And create J text field simply returns a component of type J text field. So the first thing we do is create the J text field. Creating a J text field is as simple as creating any of the other Java Swing components. We specify the class J text field, a variable name, I'm going to call it text field, equals new J text field. using the no argument constructor. And this method can then return text field. We can run the program at this point. And all we see is our text field, which essentially does not have a horizontal length that's really of any use. So this is how it looks when you create a JText field with the default J text field constructor. Now there is an alternate form of the J text field constructor that accepts an integer argument, and that integer argument represents the width of the text field in characters. So let's, for example, enter the number 10 as an argument to the constructor, run this program again. Here is our J text field, which has a horizontal width of 10 characters. And to the right of it, we have a J label, which currently you can't see because we haven't set any text on the label. But we'll be using that label later on in this video as we continue to configure the J text field. We can enter characters into the J text field at this point. And even though we've set the horizontal width at 10 characters, that doesn't prevent us from entering more than 10 characters. The 10 characters is an approximation of the number of visible characters for this component at any one time. So what else can we do with a J text field? So let's continue our configuration. We can change the size of the font. Text field dot set font. New font. We can specify the typeface. I'll specify Arial. We can specify a font style. I'll change it to bold. And we can specify a size. I'll change that to 24 pixels. Run. Now you'll see that the text field is larger than it was before. And now when we type into the text field, we see that the text is also larger, and it is in bold. We can also set the color of the text for the text field. Text field dot set foreground, and specify a color, color dot blue. Organize our imports with Control Shift O, run, now type, and our text is in bold and blue. We can also set the background color of the JText field. Color dot yellow. Run. Now we have a yellow background with blue text. We can set a tooltip so that when 
the user hovers over the field with a mouse, some text will be displayed as a hint as to what's required for the entry. Enter some text. Run. Hover with the mouse over the text field and our tooltip enter some text is displayed just below. We can also set margin around the text that's in the text field and the border of the text field. New insets. And the insets constructor expects four arguments. They are the number of pixels for the top, left, bottom, and right. So let's add five for the top, 10 for the left, five for the bottom, and 10 for the right. Organize our imports and run it again. Now we have some additional space all the way around the text that is entered into the JText field. We can add an action listener to the text field. When text has been entered into the text field and the user hits the enter key, an action event is generated and we can attach an action listener to listen for that event and then do something with the text that was entered into the text field. Text field dot add action listener and I'm going to use an anonymous inner class new action listener. We'll import the action listener and we'll add the unimplemented method, which is action performed. And here, what I'm going to do is when the user hits enter and this method is called, I'm going to take the text that was entered in the text field and then add that to our label. So I'll do that by saying label dot set text text field dot get text. And that's how you get the text from a text field component. Let's see how that works. We'll run. We'll enter some text. When we hit enter, the action event is generated and our action performed method will be called. And then we get the text from the J text field and add it to the label. Another thing that we can do is actually set text in the text field. We'll do that also in the action performed method. Once we've gotten the text out of the text field and added it to the label, then I'm going to set the text text field dot set text, enter some more text and run. So entering some text and hitting the enter key, we'll see some text now appear in our label and we should see enter some more text, replacing some text in our text field. And there it is. Not wide enough at this point to see the whole thing, but we can move around within the text field, enter some more text. Those are the basic operations of the J text field. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing so that you don't miss any future content when I release new videos. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I really appreciate it. And I hope to see you again in the next video. Until then, stay safe and keep on coding.